uh, Yocto is a, an open source project that provides templates, tools, and methods to aid the creation of custom Linux-based embedded uh, system deployments, regardless of the hardware architecture. It is widely used and widely supported, featuring a highly active developer community and is backed by the Linux Foundation. So without further ado, and I know you're excited to um, go through, I'd like to introduce uh, Marcel for Initum, who will demonstrate how ThinEdge.io can be deployed in the Yocto framework to make embedded Linux simpler and more accessible for IoT projects. So Marcel, uh, over to you. Okay, so hello, uh, thank you, Philip, and hello, everybody, uh, to the presentation about deploying in uh, deploying uh, ThinEdge IO for the Octo embedded framework. Uh, my name is Marcel, and at Inetum, I've been working on uh, supporting Yocto uh, for, uh, for ThinEdge. Uh, so you might ask, what is Yocto? Um, so Yocto is, uh, is used to build Linux distributions that, that run on low power IoT devices. Uh, Yocto distributions are built from source and they're very customizable. So you can start from scratch and basically only add the packages and uh, software that you need. Uh, with official support, we can provide easy way to use ThinEdge IO in Yocto based projects. Uh, fundamental building blocks of Yocto are packages which are then grouped into, layer, into layers which contain related functionality. Uh, we will be providing a ThinEdge IO layer which contains all ThinEdge uh, components uh, as well as ThinEdge IO reference image which I will be showing you uh, in a demo. Uh, so, uh, support the demo. Um, to um, to basically to run this uh, to run this image, the first thing you you have to do is to clone um, the Pocky uh, repository. Uh, and here I have uh, already uh, cloned it, so uh, I won't be running that. Next, we go into the uh, into the directory. And then uh, we need to select which version of, of Yocto we are going to use. We uh, use Kirkstone, which is the latest version. Okay, and then we can uh, execute the uh, script which will configure our uh, built environment. Okay, and uh, the script has placed us in the build directory in which we will be uh, configuring uh, uh, our build. So uh, the next step is to add, uh, uh, add a line that says that we will be using systemd. Uh, so uh, we are going to use systemd because that's uh, what we uh, started with uh, in, our, in our layer. Uh, uh, you might uh, know that uh, ThinEdge IO also supports uh, initd, but um, systemd is what uh, we uh, use in our layer for now, and we might also add uh, support for initd in the future. Uh, so here you can see uh, we have the line in our config. Next, uh, we will be adding all uh, the uh, so uh, we clone these two repositories uh, and I have already have them cloned uh, right here. So uh, then we run bit by layers command and add uh, these all layers. Um, and after that, uh, we run bit by touch image and afterwards Afterwards, we can launch this image with uh, uh, QEMU. So, okay. So, uh, on my side, it finished up very quickly be because I have already done that. But if you will be doing this for the first time. Uh, you will need quite a uh, quite a lot of uh, disks, uh, disk space, and time, so be warned. And now we can uh, run QEMU. Uh, uh, 
to see uh, our image in game you emulate emulator emulator sorry so okay so we log in and we as you can see we have a uh, thin edge uh, available in our uh, emulator so we are going to power off. Uh, and uh, so you can extend uh, your base image by creating your own layer uh, via this command. And then you can either create a new image based on that image. So you can extend the our reference image that we just built. Uh, or you can use a base image in the Pocky repository and just pick and choose which packages from our layer uh, you uh, you want to use. And uh, for more, you can read the Octoporter Development Task Manual. And uh, also uh, in the presentation and are the links to our layer repository and uh, support tracking issue for Yocto uh, in Thinage IO repository. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, we'll, we'll, yeah, uh, that will be all.